We've uncovered more allegations about patient care at Vibra. That's a long-term health care facility in Fargo. We told you last week about a man who claims he developed bed sores after staying at Vibra. But new information we gathered from the North Dakota Health Department finds patient care discrepancies of what they say are pretty standard. But after our story last week, we heard from more than a dozen people complaining about the care they've gotten there. Among them is Melissa Lepper. Lepper says her grandpa spent some time at Vibra, but she says her grandpa wasn't getting the attention he needed, and she believes it has to do with the number of, st of staff members. His door is wide open. He was completely naked. His um, monitors were off of him, and um, is all, so all of his alarms are going off. Nobody was in there. We spoke with the Vibra CEO, Custer Hughesby. He told us their staffing levels are not an issue, and he says the facility has consistently demonstrated exceptional patient care over the last 20 years. There's nothing like a great homegrown meal, and at this hour, dozens of people are enjoying a banquet in a field northwest of Harwood. This event is hosted by Common Ground North Dakota, a volunteer group of women in agriculture. Volunteer farmers sit down to dinner with non-ag influencers from the area to talk about food and farming. This is the fifth year that Banquet in a Field is being hosted at Peterson Farms Seed and features a dozen or so North Dakota grown crops. Later on Valley News Live at 6, good news regarding an effort to ensure local kids have the supplies they need to go to school. And temperatures near 80 in Lakes Country today, but we have 80 to 90s across parts of the Dakotas. Heading into the rest of our week, it looks like some serious heat is on the way. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast is straight ahead.